This afternoon we're looking at the uh, 2006 uh, XLT crew cab two-wheel drive um, that uh, you were asking about. Uh, it does have the chrome package as you can see. It's got the chrome wheels, the chrome bumpers, the chrome trim, chrome running boards, and chrome handles. Um, it does have Goodyear ring the tires all the way around. They're decent in tread, uh, but just to be honest with you, you can see there there is some dipping in it where it's overinflated for a little bit on the back one there. Uh, a few light scratches there on the tail light. Rear park lead assist. One little dent there in the chrome and the ball. I'm not sure why you even put a ball on there when it does have the hitch below there. But uh, either way, it's kind of puckered up there a little bit, as you can see. And of course, like most of them, the emblem is faded. Spoiler up on top of the tailgate's in good shape. All the bed rail caps are in good shape. Factory bed liner was in there, I would say, since it was brand new. Uh, all the seals and everything are good around the third brake light and the uh, rear window does have a slider there. Same way over here, you can see just a little bit of dipping on the tire there. So you do have a little bit more of a howl when you're driving down the road, but it's coming from that. Uh, all the wheels are in really good shape. I don't see much pitting or, or uh, anything like that that's going on on the wheels. No rust or anything underneath it. Inside does have, uh, you can see there's a stain right there. Uh, some light staining over there, nothing major though. All the seats itself are in good shape. No tears or anything no water damages on this uh, on the headliner and all the door trims inside are in good shape uh, a little bit of fraying of the fabric there one little tear there on the armrest but like I said the driver's seat most of the time you're gonna find these are tore up pretty good uh, this one is not it's in really good shape a few little pecs up there uh, uh, no owner's manual in it a few little pecs right there on the dash from where it's uh, fading off a little bit but no real fading or anything on top of the door panel which is kind of unheard of in these uh, there's another wheel that's probably the worst wheel I see as far as any kind of damage that little peel right there which is pretty common the front tires are not dipped like the rear tires they do have a little bit of a chop there on the inside it gives you a little bit of a roar but nothing bad and it does have one slot in a PDR dent right there it is raining right now so I apologize uh, there's a protrusion there on the front and of course that one's faded out which is very common headlights are a little faded on top but nothing major nothing out of the ordinary like i said you can see there on that tire i drove the truck out yesterday uh, there's a power seat windows and locks uh, your brace there is broken doesn't have to be replaced but could be <laughs> does need if you wanted to a uh, steering wheel protector there cover um, everything inside though is really in good shape to be honest with you. None of the knobs are wore off, uh, nothing broken. It does have a six disc CD changer. Overhead console, which is usually broken, is not. These are usually broken, is not. These are broken, not. And that one's in good shape. So everything inside is really good shape. I'm going to start up. It's a cold start. It's been sitting here for about three hours. tapping or anything like that there's no check engine. i'm gonna shut the door starting to pour uh it's uh no check engine lights or indicator lights or anything like that it's 140,000 miles on it uh, kick the air on all four controls are working let's see mode control is kicking over it's going to floor Switching over to defrost. It must not have been on defrost in a while, but they're switched over to defrost. Uh, your short, uh, coin uh, holder is not broken. It does have, uh, let's see, one key that does run. This is a door key, doesn't start it, and then two remotes. And then there was a third remote I seen in the glove box there, just had a broken uh, handle. Uh, cup holders are intact, they're not broken. Uh, your parquet assist for the rear on and off uh, you got your mirror defrost for the outside two mirrors uh, like I said this one is a different uh, we run into this a lot uh, Ford's original one was really poor design it was soft cloth or soft uh, vinyl this is hard plastic it's never gonna do anything that thing will last forever uh, a little dirty on the inside there that needs to be cleaned out but uh, other than that it's really good shape it's not broken uh, usually these things are broken but this one is not uh, like I said I did drive it out yesterday 
with the with this model you're going to find it because uh, it, it is time 140,000 miles needs plugs I, I would guess it needs coil packs i'm not sure if all of them or not i'd say not all of them because usually if all of them are faulty uh, you're going to have a check engine light on uh, it does have a little bit of hesitation whenever you're you're shifting uh, or you put a load into it um, you know if you're if you're going to accelerate really fast it does have a little bit of a shutter but i believe it's probably at least probably two coil packs but when you're doing these it's better just to do the plugs and all the coil packs and be done with it and that way you don't have any issues but that is that is the only thing i've seen uh, that I seen that does have a, a little bit of a, a shutter there and it's, and it's it's pretty it's a pretty good shutter depending on how much you shower down on it but once you get past it it runs like a top you get up to 65 75 80 it runs like top it does sing though because of the tires so this is uh, letting you know that your back tires uh, does have a dip in it so they are gonna have a, have a singing noise on it a whistling noise on it uh, if you've never heard that um, like I said, I would say just replace them and be done. Tires are not that expensive. So, uh, but like I said, other other than that, the truck is pretty solid. Uh, it is uh, looking at the Carfax. It's a two owner. It's been in Kentucky its whole life. The last uh, couple that traded in had it almost eight years. Uh, no accidents on it. And like I said, besides a few little pecks on the outside that are honestly minor for an 06 with 140,000, um, really really in good shape. And you can see they had it in Benton, Kentucky. Uh, pretty much looks like pretty much its whole life uh, It was in Paducah originally so it was in Paducah and then went to Benton, Kentucky So it's not been up north no assaults or anything like that, but uh, uh, If you got any questions, please don't hesitate, but uh, like I said I, I like to let everybody know any kind of damages I know or anything that I know now the, the air conditioning is super cold. It feels really good It's very humid today very hot. It feels very good out here uh, Walk around it kind of stopped raining a little bit but uh, I'm gonna pop the hood for you. See if I can lift it at the same time. One hand. There we go. Like I said no excessive, uh, no excessive chatter. Uh, really, not really any chatter at all. Uh, got a relatively new uh, battery. Looks like underneath there, it's probably the interstate yeah, interstate battery. And I'm not saying it doesn't have any leaks. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a mechanic. I haven't crawled up underneath it. I don't see anything visually up here. Uh, I'm sure that you can see. But uh, it looks to be everything in pretty, pretty solid condition in there. I don't see any wetness down inside. Like I said, that AC is, is blowing cold. That condenser is out here working. Presser. Um, but like I said, if you got any questions, don't hesitate. Give us a call before uh, we're going to make the next step. Thank you.